So problems involving optimization. So optimization. Optimization is one of the most essential topics in basic calculus. This topic will help you in making a right decision when you need to know the maximum or minimum value of a specific situation. For instance, in budgeting your allowance, in finding the maximum volume of a three-dimensional figure, and of course for business, in maximizing our revenue. So magbigay tayo class ng mga example. But first, ayan, so daanan muna natin yung steps in solving problems involving optimization. So present natin class and then mamaya iisa-isahin natin ito sa pagsasagot ng mga halimbawa natin later. So first step, transform mathematical phrase into mathematical equation. Second, write a function for the item to be optimized. Third, substitute equation 1 to the optimization function to make this as one variable. Then, determine the domain under consideration. Fourth, find the first derivative of the optimization function. Fifth, equate the first derivative of the optimization function to zero to find the critical number or numbers. Sixth, substitute the interval and the critical number or numbers to the given optimized function. Seventh, Select the final answer on step 6 based on what is being asked on the problem. For instance, if the problem looks for maximum, therefore we need to select the largest value and if the problem looks for the minimum, therefore we need to select the smallest value. And then last um, step, finalize your answer based on what is being asked in the problem. So class, mamaya natin ito iisa-isahin sa pagsasagot ng mga example natin. So sige, tingnan natin yung unang example. So, Eds Matreo, a science teacher, decided to renovate her rectangular garden by using a rock wall on one side of the garden and wire fencing for the other three sides. If she has only 50 feet of wire fencing, find the dimension that would give her the maximum area of her garden. What is the maximum area? So, una class, um, pag nagsasolve tayo ng problem, kailangan kasi i-analyze natin yung given yung situation, and then makatutulong kung uh, i-visualize muna natin. So, sabi dito, si Edge Matreo, ayan, plano niya i-renovate yung rectangular garden niya. Uh, yung isang side, uh, nung kanya rectangular garden is a rock wall, is, um, rock wall. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, itong tatlong sides na lang na to, yung gagamitin natin nung uh, wire fencing. Okay? So, if she has only 50 feet of wire fencing, tinatanong, ano kaya yung dimension that would give her the maximum area of her garden? Okay? And then, tinatanong din sa atin, what is the maximum area? So, isa-isahin natin, class. So, again, rock wall ito. So, ibig sabihin, itong tatlong sides lang na to yung gagamitan natin ng wire fencing. Ayan. So, first step, identify natin yung mathematical equation. So, mathematical equation natin dito is 2x plus y is equal to 50. Bakit? Again, kasi diba rock wall, yun dun sa isang side. So, ibig sabihin, uh, 2x, yung dalawang side, plus uh, yung ilalim, yung length ng ilalim, dapat mag-equal sa 50. Kasi diba 50 feet lang, yung available niya na uh, pang wire, yung na available niya na wire pang fence, diba? Uh, pang lagay ng fence doon sa kanyang rectangular garden. So, 2x plus y is equal to 50. Second step, ayan. So, identify natin yung optimization function. So, the optimization function will be f of x is equal to y, x times y. Kasi again, di ba, hinahanap natin is yung dimension that would give her the maximum area of her garden. Diba? And formula natin for the area is this, di ba, x times y. So, f of x is equal to x times y. Third step, Yes, so, i-rewrite natin yung mathematical equation. And then, class, solve natin yung y in terms of x. Okay? So, kunin natin yung y. So, para y lang yung matira sa left-hand side, we can add negative 2x to both sides of the equation. So, we will have y is equal to negative 2x plus 50. Okay? So, nag-add lang ng negative 2x to both sides of the equation. Next, Gamit yung optimization function natin, substitute natin itong nakuha natin na value ng y dito. So, y equals negative 2x plus 50. So, yan, ipapalit na natin yan dito sa y, dito sa ating optimization function. So, we will have f of x is equal to x times the quantity of negative 2x plus 50. 
Next, simplify natin. So, x times negative 2x is negative 2x squared plus x times 50, we have 50x. So, negative, uh, f of x is equal to negative 2x squared plus 50x. Next class, ayan. So, uh, equate natin to, negative 2x squared plus 50x, sa 0, para makuha natin yung hinahanap natin na domain. Okay, or yung closed interval under consideration natin. So, negative 2x squared plus 50x equals 0. Actually, we can factor out um, negative 2x dito. Ano, common factor nila. So, pag nilabas natin yung negative 2x. So, matitira sa loob ng parentheses ay x minus 25. ba Kasi, negative 2x times x, negative 2x squared pa rin yan. Negative 2x times negative 25, positive 50x. So, pinactor out lang natin yung common factors nito. Which is negative 2x. Ngayon, pwede na nating makompute class yung ating um, x values. Ano? So, negative 2x equals 0. And then the other one, x minus 25 equals 0. So, ito muna yung isolve natin. So, we can divide both sides by negative 2. So, uh, negative 2x divided by negative 2 equal na lang yun sa x. And then, 0 divided by negative 2 equal yun sa 0. So, ito yung isa. x equals 0. Ito naman, sa x minus 25 equals 0, we can add 25 to both sides of the equation. So, in doing that, x is equal to 25. Okay? Ngayon, thus, the closed bounded interval is 0 to 25. Okay? So, again, closed interval tayo. Okay? So, 0 from 0 to 25, closed interval. Next step. Ayan. So, again, Gamit ito, itong f of x equals negative 2x squared plus 50x, kukunin na natin yung first derivative nyan. Okay? So, first derivative na to, we have uh, 2 times negative 2, negative 4x, and then yung subtract tayo ng 1's exponent, so 1 na lang. So, negative 4x na yung first derivative na to. Plus 50x, okay? Ang first derivative na is, of course, 50. So, f prime of x is equal to negative 4x plus 50 I-equate natin class ito, negative 4x plus 50 equals 0 para makuha yung critical number or numbers. <coughs> Ayan. So, pwede tayo mag-subtract ng 50 both sides para yung may x na lang yung matira sa left-hand side. So, we will have negative 4x is equal to negative 50. We can divide both sides by negative 4. So, negative 50 divided by negative 4. So, x is equal to... 12.5. Okay? So, yan. Yung isa sa i-consider natin mamaya. Next. Ayan. So, again, kinopya lang natin yung ating function. So, f of x is equal to negative 2x squared plus 50x. So, uh, isa-substitute na natin, class, yung critical number natin dito. So, kukunin natin yung f of 12.5. And then, afterwards, yung values naman dun sa ating closed interval, yung uh, isa substitute natin dito sa ating function. So, una muna, f of 12.5 is equal to negative 2 times the quantity of 12.5 squared plus 50 times 12.5. So, simplify natin to this, uh, natin to further, so we will have um, f of 12.5 is equal to negative 2 times, ayan, so 12.5 times 12.5 times 12 equal yan, so 156.25 plus 50 times 12.5. Simplify natin further. So, negative 2 times 156.25 equal yan sa negative 312.5. 50 times 12.5, we have 625. So, negative 312.5 plus 625. Ayan. So, f of 12.5 is equal to 312.5. Okay, next. Ayan. So, compute naman natin yung f of 0. Kasi, di ba, yung nakuha natin na closed interval kanina is uh, from 0 to 25. So, included si 0 and 25. So, f of 0 muna. So, yung x natin, pinalta naman natin ng 0. So, we have f of 0 is equal to negative 2 times the quantity of 0 squared plus 50 times 0. So, kitang-kita naman, class. So, ito ay um, 0 na rin. So, 0 plus 0 ay equal sa 0. So, f of 0 ay 0. Next natin, f of 25. So, ganun ulit. Substitute natin yung 25 sa lahat ng x's dito. So, um, f of 25 is equal to negative 2 times the quantity of 25 squared plus 50 times 25. 
And 25 squared equals to 25 times 25, which is equal to 625. So 625 times negative 2 uh, plus uh, 50 times 25. So negative 2 times 625, that is negative 1,250 plus yung product naman ng 50 times na, at 25 ay, one, ay 1,250 din. So negative 1,250 plus 1,250 equal lang din yan sa 0. Okay? Next step, ayan. So, tingnan natin yung mga na-compute natin ngayon. Ayan. So, since we need to find the maximum area of a rectangular garden, therefore, it occurs on x equals 12.5. So, makikita natin, ang pinakamalaki natin na-compute ay dito. Itong 312.5, which occurs at x equals 12.5. Okay? So, yan na ngayon, class, yung ating x, 12.5. Compute naman natin ngayon yung y. So, x is equal to 12.5. So, let's use this. y is equal to negative 2x plus 15. So, yan yung nandun sa una nating part. Okay. So, yung substitute lang natin yung x natin, which is 12.5. So, y is equal to negative 2 times 12.5 plus 15, which is equal to 25. So, y is equal to 25. So, hence, ito na yung dimensions ng ating... Um, uh, Rectangular garden, okay, para makuha natin yung max, ma maximum area. So, 12.5 by 25, okay? So, kunin na natin yung maximum area. So, f of x is equal to x times y. So, we have um, 12.5 feet times 25 feet. Hence, yung maximum area ng rectangular garden natin is um, f of x is equal to 312.5 squared feet. Thus, the maximum area will be 312.5 squared feet. And yung x natin is 12.5 and then yung y natin is 25. So, ayun. That's it for example number 1. Clear ba? Okay, good. Proceed tayo class with example number 2. So, find a pair of non-negative numbers that have a product of 48 and minimize the sum of 3 times the first number and second number with closed bounded interval of 1, 6. So, again, included yung 1, 6. So, una natin class is, of course, um, yung mathematical equation natin. So, mathematical equation natin dito sa problem is x times y is equal to 48. Galing dito. That have a product of 48. So, x times y is equal to 48. Next, yung optimization function natin will be f of x is equal to 3x plus y. Galing yan dito. Kasi di ba, minimize the sum of, three, sum of 3 times the first number and second number. So, f of x is equal to 3x. So, inilet natin yung first number as x plus y. Next, kapareho nung ginawa natin kanina. So, itong mathematical equation natin. Okay, so x times y is equal to 48. So, solve natin si y terms of x. So, divide natin both sides by x. So, we will have y is equal to 48 over x. And then, isa substitute natin ito dito sa ating optimization function. So, f of x is equal to 3x plus y. Yung y natin dito ay papalta na natin ng 48 over x. So, f of x is equal to 3x plus 48 over x. Ayan. So, next, kunin na natin class yung first derivative neto. Okay? Para makuha na natin yung critical number or numbers. So, notice class, now we have f of x is equal to 3x plus 48 over x. Diba? We can rewrite, we can express 48 over x as 48 times x raised to negative 1. Para madali natin makuha yung derivative. So, we will have f of x is equal to 3x plus 40x, uh, 48 rather, times x raised to negative 1. So, again, equal lang to. Okay, gumamit lang tayo dito ng, rule, uh, ng isa sa mga rules on exponents natin. So, kunin na natin yung uh, first derivative. So, f prime of x is equal to, so, ang derivative ng 3x ay 3. Ito naman. So, 48 times negative 1, we have negative 48. Negative 1 minus 1, subtract tayo ng 1's exponent, we have negative 2. So, negative 48x raised to negative 2. 
So f prime of x is equal to 3 minus 48x raised to negative 2. So we can actually write, rewrite this as f prime of x is equal to 3 minus 48 over x squared. Okay, again, gamit ang isa sa mga rules and exponents natin. So equal lang itong dalawa. Okay, next. Okay, so equate. Ayan, so ito muna. So, kunin natin, class, again, pagparehohin natin yung denominator nito. Itong 3, tsaka um, itong uh, negative 48 over x squared. So, actually, LCD nito ay x squared. Kasi, di ba, ang denominator lang naman ng 3 dito is 1. So, x squared divided by 1 is x squared times 3. So, we have 3x squared. x squared divided by x squared is 1. Okay? Times 48, so we have 48. And then, minus the operation. So, f prime of x natin is 3x squared minus 48 all over x squared. Okay? So, ang next na gagawin natin is, of course, to equate this, yung nakuha natin na first derivative to 0 para makuha yung ating um, critical number or numbers. So, actually, class, okay. So, kita natin yung numerator. ba? We can actually factor out uh, 3 dito sa ating numerator. So, we will have 3 times the quantity of x squared minus 16 all over x squared is equal to 0. So, finactor out lang yung 3 dito. Okay, pareho lang yan kasi pag dinistribute mo si 3 dito sa loob lang, dito sa term, sa loob ng parentheses, ang makukuha mo lang din is 3x squared minus 48. Ngayon, class, ayan, so kukunin natin yung magpapa 0 dun sa numerator. Okay? Uh, provided na, uh, na dapat hindi mag-0 yung denominator. So, kukunin natin magpapa 0 sa numerator. Okay? Para ma-solve yung x. Solve natin yung x sa so magpapa 0 dito. So, we will have 3 times the quantity of x plus 4 times the quantity of x minus 4 all over x squared equals 0. So, we can actually expand this. So, x squared minus 16 equal lang yan sa quantity of x plus 4 times the quantity of x minus 4. So, again, using the FOIL method, pwede mong i-double check na pag multiply mo to, equal lang yan sa x squared minus 16. Okay, so yan. In this way, mas madali na natin masosolve yung magpapa 0 dun sa ating numerator. Okay? So, x plus 4 equals 0 and then x minus 4 equals 0. So, ang x na magpapa 0 sa numerator natin ay x equals negative 4 and x is equal to 4. Again, 4 x is not equal to 0. Kasi nga, ba? ayaw natin na mag-0 yung denominator. Okay? So, again, provided that x is not equal to 0. Ngayon, um, the, therefore, the critical number is 4 since we are looking for a pair of non-negative number. So, take note class, ang hinahanap natin, pair ng non-negative number. So, hindi na agad pwede yung x equals negative 4. Okay? In the same manner kasi, di ba, hindi rin naman kasama yan dito sa ating close bounded interval na given. So, ang consider lang natin dito is yung 4. x equals 4. Ayan. So, next step tayo. So, again, using this function. So, f of x is equal to 3x plus 48 over x. Substitute na natin or evaluate na natin at uh, yung ating at x equals 4. So, compute natin yung f of 4. So, we'll have f of 4 is equal to 3 times 4 plus 48 over 4. 3 times 4 is 12. Plus 48 divided by 4 is uh, 12. So, 12 plus 12 is equal to 24. So, f of 4 is equal to 24. And afterwards, again, yung values dun sa ating um, close interval, kunin din natin yung f of 1 and then yung f of 6. So, una, f of 1 muna, equal yan sa 3 times 1 plus 48 over 1. So, lahat ng excess, pinaltan lang natin ng 1. So, equal to sa 3 plus 48 equals sa 51. And then lastly, f of 6 natin is equal to 3 times 6 plus 48 over 6 equal yan sa 18 plus 8 which is equal to 26. So, f of 6 is equal to 26. Next, ayun. Since we need to find a minimum value, therefore, it occurs on x equals 4. So, titingnan na natin, class. Diba ang hinahanap natin is the minimum value? So, ano ba yung pinakamaliit dyan? Ito, itong 24, na nag-occur at x equals 4. So, gagamitin natin is x equals 4. Solve natin yung y. So, again, x, y natin. So, x times y is equal to 48. 
substitute natin si 4 dito sa x. So, we'll have 4y is equal to 48. Divide both sides by 4 para masolve natin yung y. So, y is equal to 12. Ayan. So, conclusion. Thus, the pair of non-negative number consists of 4 and 12. So, yan na yung ating sagot, class. Ito na yung ating conclusion. So, clear kaya, class? Ayan. So, with that, here's, here's the reference used in creating this presentation. So, sana may natutuhan tayo. And with that, uh, it's the end of the video. And thank you all for watching. Bye!